hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is vicky and i'm making this video from lagos nigeria welcome back again to my old subscribers and if you're new to my channel or you're seeing my channel for the very first time please consider to hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to the channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video and guys before i go further please i want to beg you guys to please support my other channel my personal channel where i put up videos on motherhood lifestyle and general gist like it is lit at that other end please do well to support it the name of the channel is vicky m and the link is in the description so let me not just waste much of your time guys tonight was eviction night and guess what katrina and lilo was evicted so let me just give you guys the gist of how it started so it started by ebuka opening the show and then doing more most of the highlights of the week and then it got to a point where he said that the four housemates that had the lowest votes was lilo eric and um, praise and katrina and then the four of them stood up that means the, the last the rest of the 14 housemates were safe just the four of them were up so now they will be at the mercy of the housemates to actually choose the two that will be going and of course they did it and they called them into the diary room and everybody made their nomination you understand but my problem with that nomination was people that did not show us who nominated who he only showed us um brito's own and nengi's own which they nominated you both of them shall nominated katrina and one nominated lilo and one nominated i think praise you get so it is just the both of them the rest of the housemates we actually did not know who they actually nominated and me i to me personally i do not find it appealing you get so they actually uh, uh, evicted them and there was there was a lot of emotions you get katrina came out to meet ebuka on the stage and ebuka was like asking katrina who would you miss most in the house and katrina said she will miss lucy and um dorothy more in the house and ebuka now wanted to shake a little table ebuka now asked her so what about praise and she the facial expression she would give was like did you guys see anything and she was like yeah she's gonna miss praise like every other member of the um house you understand but the most people she will miss will be dorothy and lucy and then lilo also came out which um ebuka also asked her who she will miss it was obvious that she's gonna miss eric you get but ebuka was now asking her what is happening between she and um eric she said that she, as in how did the emotion start she said she just fancies him and all that and ibuka just asked her so what about your boyfriend she said we are good and i'm like all right this is the nina situation that we are seeing you are good with a boyfriend you left outside and you came into the house from the first day you started chingoming like bread and butter bar okay we are looking at you so that was just it and then that was how the eviction show actually ended and then there were a lot of emotions you know praise actually cried and um eric i don't understand he dropped one or two tears you get and then other 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 housemates like dorothy actually shed some tears i think for katrina you understand because dorothy actually had a moment with katrina you get and they they really had a conversation and obviously like katrina said that she's closer to dorothy and lucy so oh, definitely dorothy will definitely miss her and she was the one that cried and then the whole house was you know there was sober reflection and though everybody has gone back to you know talking about the situation and maybe moving on and understanding that it's a game and this is real reality check for everybody then guys the amebo that i want to give you guys this night you will give this video a like or leave me a comment down below like to appreciate this time but this one is hot guys i don't know what to see new eh? i don't know please has brito recruited new or why is new now carrying nengi's matter on his head like gala why has new decided to buy market why has new decided to put it upon himself and say you see this ship between nengi and ozo i must make sure i see it still like new has actually put himself himself in this situation he has actually put himself in the center and taking it upon his self shoulder like he's the messiah that he must make sure that he bring the both of them down now, let me give you guys the gist because i know that you guys like have a mobile i'm a bummer than i do mm, you don't like ah okay let me give you guys the gist what happened was 
knew called Nengi and they were talking and they knew was just telling Nengi that ah that uh, th this was the army that happened in the, in the afternoon or before the eviction show that uh, that also likes Nengi that why is Nengi acting the way she's acting that also has also does not that also is having anything to do with Dora that is just that also has also made Dora understand that they are just friends and they don't have anything that uh, she has been she has been running around with Prince and and he does not like that and he doesn't want to to do and then he was like really i don't know ah i never knew you know that um eh, ever since that day that we do that did that truth or day with a uh, prince that prince gave me a you know the the truth or day they did that prince gave um used her as a mannequin to demonstrate his favorite sex position which i which i uh, told you guys in my in one of the, the videos then that also did not find it funny that also started giving her attitude that ah, really uh i did not know me too i like him i like him and i'm like oh my god nengi what's going on what is wrong with you because you're you're liking everybody and we don't even understand me me personally i do not understand nengi again please you guys should help me if you understand nengi leave it in the comment section i want to understand her because at this point my approach level has not reached that level of me understanding nengi nengi is a confusionist and me too i like her this other and then you know, Nyo actually tried to, you know, as a guy now, trying to talk her into considering also or giving also a trial and then boom, Nyo now with the spirit of Brito in him. He went to Ozo and was like, ah, Ozo, I spoke to Nengu and Nengi said she still likes you, she really likes you and that um, me, I even told her about you and the Dora situation that you are the dora situation you don't have anything to do with dora blah 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 and all that and all that that uh, you should keep you people should know look for oh new what is your problem like why you like this but why next thing from nowhere we just heard new yelling and Kayode did not do his work. Kayode did not show us the beginning of that drama you get. But we just heard new shouting that, eh, why would she be talking that nonsense? These are, apparently, someone went to tell Nengi that they were gossiping about her. That they said that she does not have anything to offer. That the only thing she does in the house is to be playing with men, as in leading men on and all that. That she does not have anything to offer. That the head of us that she actually won was out of pure luck. And I'm like, Jesus, Mugbe, hey, what's going on here? Like, the drama has just begun and guys as you are hearing this one not that it is ending your it is going to continue because the the problem is just brewing it's just starting and thank god katrina has been evicted if not one of these days would have had the main big that would have happened that eh uh, tonegi was just fuming that why would she say that uh, she does not have anything to offer what kind of nonsense was that and neil was in the other side also fuming and saying well why would she say that kind of rubbish where nengi can stand can the person stand and apparently they were, this was happening between i think it was the confrontation of lucy was the one that actually made that statement that nengi had nothing to offer and i'm like oh sister lucy i wish you know your status outside you wouldn't have made such <laughs> such comments yet and then um neil was just uh, shouting that and uh, what they are actually doing they're actually working that uh, no 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 neil now shouted and went outside and met um lacon uh, kid wire and tolani bad which were chingoming him and saying me i want to see the end of this discussion i want to hear everything that has been going on in this house tolani bad followed told him outside and he was now reporting the matter to kid wire and kid wire was just saying his jealousy and then yeah, nengi was like she does not have anything that in fact is not even bothering her because one it is out of jealousy it is expected but the thing that is making her angry why would she say that she has nothing to offer for what what kind of nonsense statement is that kid wire said please leave them alone it is out of jealousy and i'm like and then neil was now saying that um that they are just trying to put us or put pressures on us or that that was how they put pressure on us or to you uh, see um, the proof of the matter is that uh, nobody's i feel that nobody's putting pressure on us if also wants to go for nengi let him go for nengi if also wants to go for dorothy let him choose one person he should choose a hustle i beg i don't understand why this minute you're with dorothy the next minute you're with nengi the i don't and then you people you and dorothy you go you say you are friends you are friends zoning each other or what or you you're catching feelings for her and maybe she she's friends zoning you and then you people are just acting the drama back and forth back and forth like what's happening here what's going on you people should just choose a hustle let us know which ship is sailing and which ship has finally scattered because me i'm always here to bring you people my lovely my lovely subscribers the hottest amiable in the big brother niger house so what was happening and me i'm like the housemates are the one putting pressure on this young man nobody is pressuring him to date anybody 
he doesn't necessarily have to date anybody in the first place but these are the same people that pressured him though oh, you and uh, nengi you people are good together I'm gonna, bam the next thing uh, you and uh, you, you be, um, nengi is using you he detached he went to cut uh, to dorothy and then now from dorothy now he wants to start coming back oh my god that like this season this season these people they are they are something else because I cannot just deal with their drama. They don't just also on his own. He should be man enough to just pick a lady and say that okay, I feel this is the lady I want to stay with, or I feel this is the lady I am compatible with. This is the one I feel I like. I'm choosing this one and stick to it. And if you feel you want to make Dora your friend, make it clear to her that yes, it's not like a guy doesn't have a um, female friend. You have female friend, and that does not mean that your female friend will not allow you to have a girlfriend. I don't know what Ozo is trying to do because he's just too bolo 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 for my liking. As in the bolo bolo is just too much. He should stand his ground and all this nonsense will stop. The pressures from housemates will just stop because this thing they are doing there. Other housemates, the former housemate, it actually did not happen. Like Messi and Nikki, I did not think I actually noticed this kind of thing where somebody will be trying to talk Ike out of having anything to do with Messi and he will change it for you. So guys, that's just the gist the amiable the gossip like the info i say let me come and update you guys so that you guys will not be slacking behind you guys will be up to date so if you have not subscribed to the channel hey 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 after this sweet gist please subscribe subscribe one, 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 one. subscribe turn on your notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will just say bagam 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 vicky the amiable mistress on top of youtube has actually posted a video let me come and check out what she's talking about or which gist she has for me give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and please guys before i i sign out i want to beg you guys to follow my personal channel where i i do my vlogs my motherhood lifestyle and other interesting videos there the name of the channel is vicky m please link in the description support my hustle go there so that you see more of my personal life and not only i'm a boy part of me you also see that my motherhood side that my lovely side per se you get so please support my hustle there and i love you each and every one of you i will see you guys in my next video bye guys